Hi, I'm Frank Corby, and um, I'm the president and CEO of Remake Wealth Institute. And I often get this question is, why should people only invest in the GTA? Now, first of all, let me tell you a few things about my company. We started doing business since 2007, okay? 2007, uh, we launched our program in 2007, and my message has been very, very clear from day one. Number one thing, the first thing you need to understand when investing in real estate is where should you invest your money? Forget whether you wanna do any down payment program or qualification or mortgages, all that stuff. The first thing you need to understand is where should you invest your money? Now, it's very important that you understand this. Just like how we have junk stocks, junk businesses, there's also junk real estate, meaning that you can buy it, but you have a hard or difficult time selling it, okay? So, first place we wanna invest in, look at this folks, we wanna invest in the number one city in your local area, okay? Number one city in your local area, or your local country. Now. We just have to be based in the GTA, which we count ourselves very lucky for that. Uh, so we, I'm saying, or I'm predicting, or not even predicting, just look at the finances, that the number one city to invest in Canada is the Toronto. T-O-R-O-N-T-O, -O -O, Toronto. More important, Toronto and surrounding areas, what we call the GTA. Now it doesn't look like this, but this is my art. So. Feel free to laugh, I'm not very good at art, okay? I'm not very good at a lot of things, just in case you, you're wondering. So, um, but I understand real estate very, very well, okay? So, the GTA is the number one area I think that you should invest your money in. Number reason why, Toronto or the GTA, we are the financial capital of Canada, okay? Financial capital of Canada. What that means, folks? It means that most of the money that comes through this country comes through the GTA. When it comes to businesses, employment, education, manufacturing, all that stuff happens in the GTA, okay? Now, so that's why we love the GTA. We have diversified employment. What that means, folks, if you lose your job in one sector, you find a job in another sector, you continue working. If you have employment, you can continue to rent, you continue to own real estate, and that's why we love GTA real estate. Next thing, despite what the media have been saying, the GTA properties have not had a major increase, like the rest of the country. And what I mean that the GTA goes this way. Uh, over the last 27 plus, 15 plus years, the GTA have an average increase in price, three to 4%, three to 4%, three to 4%, three to 4%, and increase all of the 2013 where we are right now, okay? Now, that, that's what I like. I call this the drip drip program. We have a slow increase year over year, year over year increase in vet and property value. That means that this area is building on true sunk financial principles. Unlike the rest of the country, some places like Alberta or even Vancouver, they had what we call a steep increase in value. What that means that um, a few years ago, Alberta real estate was here, and all of a sudden they go bang. Same as Vancouver, they go bang. All the increase, all the increase, and they go bang. You see that? Bang! You see that kind of shoot? I don't like that. If you look at, if you look at investment charts, ones that does tremendously well over the years, they always go this way. A little bit of time. It's called drip, 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 all up to 2013, and that's something like the GTA. More important, and this is very, very important. Okay, the GTA also is Canada's number one immigration city. Very important, Canada number one immigration city. What that means, folks? It means majority of the people that comes into this country from worldwide. So people literally leave their homes, they sell their homes, they sell their cars, um, and they, they, they deplete their assets, bring it all in cash, and they come to Canada to, to live. Worldwide, they come and do that, okay? Um, so they come to Canada, and majority of them are coming to join their friends, families, or businesses, partners, in the GTA. So because we have such a consistent immigration growth, 
And if you look at the immigration chart here for the GTA, it actually duplicates, or for Ontario in general, it duplicates the real estate property value. So you look at the chart, goes the drip, drip, in GTA, it is the people now, immigration, 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 up to 2013. As the people here continue to come in the GTA, property value continue to rise, and it goes slowly, 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 slowly. So like this, it's called the GTA. Okay, so the people, and then you have the real estate to support that, okay? If you look around the GTA also, you're going to find diversified employment from nursing to banking to insurance to manufacturing to construction, very diversified. That's what we attract some of the best quality uh, employees and employers here, um, best quality talent and skills, and we're not on their label like the rest of parts of the country. Now, who said Frank? Well, what, what, what about the US, my US um, students or US people who watch my program, and what, they, what should they do, okay? Um, now, I'm not saying the rest of Canada, let, let me finish up with Canada here first before I talk about the US and different parts of the world. Now, I'm not saying the rest of the Canada is bad or the rest of Canada is not uh, worthwhile investing in. All I'm saying is that when I look at the, the financial perspective based on my uh, assessment, I find the GTA give you the best price of value and the best bang for your buck. Now, a few things you're looking for when you invest in real estate. Number one, you're looking for positive cash flow. You're going to get that in the GTA if you pick the right kind of property. Now, GTA property is expensive, so you're paying for what you get. Also, you get what we call liquidity. Liquidity means you have the ability to sell your property in a short time frame if it's priced right. Next, you have a very low vacancy rate in the GTA. That means, folks, when you buy your home or investment property and you decide to rent it out, you put in a market for rent, it's going to rent almost like immediately, if not a short time frame, because there's a strong demand for your property thanks to our immigration program. Okay? Strong demand. Okay? So that's very important to me as an investor. Number one, I want positive cash flow. I want liquidity if I decide to sell my property today or tomorrow, it should sell in a short time frame. And if I decide to rent it out, it should rent in a short time frame as well. More important, I'm also getting appreciation. The property prices appreciate as the demand continue to be, continue to be strong, which is very important to me. So I'm getting the best of the world when it comes to um, real estate investing in Canada. And that's what I'm predicting or I'm showing you on based on some financial principles that the GTA or Toronto is the number one city to invest in, in Canada. It's going strong, it's going well, and it's continuing to grow as you continue investing and develop a real estate portfolio. Now, I'm not saying the rest of the country is bad or the rest of the country is not worthwhile investing. I just find the numbers look best in the GTA. So, Mr. Frank, what about the local G um, area surrounding the GTA? So, let's look at this. So, let's put this as a GTA mark, okay? And then let's go out of the GTA a little bit. So we're going out of the GTA. This is the red mark right here. We're going out of the GTA. We're not going even too far. I'm talking about 15, 20, 30 kilometers out of the GTA here. He said, Frank, why don't you recommend here? They're almost close to the GTA. And my answer is, is no. Why I don't recommend those areas is very simple. Number one, I also invest where the banks invest their money. What that means, folks, is that the top five banks in Canada, or the predominantly the ones in the GTA, when you submit your mortgage application to the banks, the banks ask one simple question. They don't care about the price of the property. They don't care about too many things. One simple question the banks ask, what's the address of this property? And as soon as you said to the bank, the address of the property is Mississauga, Brampton, Toronto, Scarborough, uh, Pickering, um, Vaughan, York, Anything in the GTA, the bank automatically relax and says, approve if the auto finance is in the right check. Okay? Very simple. They also look at the valuation of the property. They might do an appraisal sometimes, and they say approve. Why? Because the banks are very smart people. This is what the banks understand. If more people come in, that means a stronger demand for your property is immigration. If you have a good financial capital city, you have diversified employment, diversified employers work um, hiring people here. That means people are always going to be working to be able to pay the mortgage for this property or the investment property, so the bank automatically approves. No problem, okay? Now, as soon as the bank makes that assessment again, and you ask, same question, where 
is this property located? And you tell the banks, it's out of the GTA. As soon as you say that, it becomes a red flag to your mortgage application, automatically. It becomes a red flag to your mortgage application. Now the bank has started to question the assessment of this property. They want to question if the, the property is even tied into the water line, the sewage line. All these other questions the banks start to ask now, and now your application becomes very limited, and you have a higher potential of getting declined because you are not investing or purchasing property in what the banks and everyone think is the number one cities to invest in in Canada. So that's my take on GTA investing. If you want to learn more about specific areas in the GTA of what kind of properties to buy, um, how to assess them to make sure they're making positive cash flow, uh, where the key areas are right now to get the best appreciation for your, your, uh, your, your properties you're purchasing, I want you to visit my website at www.remakecorp.com. That's R-E-M-I-C-C-O-R-P.com. Or you can call our, our toll-free line at one 888 remic That's one 887 3642 And this is our video here today on why you should invest in Canada's number one city and surrounding areas. That's Toronto and surrounding areas, what we call the GTA. If you like this video, press subscribe at the bottom. Also, feel free to share this video with friends, family members, spouse, on Facebook and all the social media network. To your success, see you then.